We are less than two weeks away from the total solar eclipse. Well, we here in San Diego won't be able to see it in its totality. You can safely watch it with solar glasses or you can make your own viewer. CBS 8's Abby Black joins us sharing how you can easily make one with your family using some pretty easy household items. I see you've got toasted oats right there. Abby. Right. All you need is a cereal box and a few other uh, household items. So Marcella, my daughter Bexley, she's two years old, so I'm constantly scrolling for crafty ideas to do with her. I researched what I needed to make a solar eclipse view box and was excited to share that I didn't have to buy anything. I had them all at home. Now we could totally do this just with a few reinforcements. The solar eclipse may not be in San Diego's path of totality, but we'll still be able to see 55% of the eclipse. If you don't have certified solar glasses, you can still join the fun. My toddler Bexley and I will show you how to make your own solar view walks with these household items and some patience. All right, so Bexley, we have a cereal box, scissors. Now remember to keep these out of reach of little kids like Bexley. We have a white piece of paper, aluminum foil, and then a push pin. Again, another thing that you need to keep out of kids' reach. Oh, and don't forget the pen. First, take the bag of cereal out of the box. As you can see, Bexley's more interested in the camera than the box, of course. No, 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 Bex. Uh -uh. This is where I have to call in reinforcements. Sardona. Dad comes in to help. <laughs> After he traces a line around the box, he cuts the shape and places it inside at the bottom of the box. Now cut two squares on each side of the lid of the box. Place a sheet of aluminum foil around one of the holes and tape it. You won't need that much tape, just enough to hold the foil on each side. And finally, take the push pin and poke one hole in the center of the foil on the top of the box. When you go outside, put your back to the sun and look into the hole of the box. That's where it will look like several crescent suns. Oh, Remember not to watch the eclipse with the naked eye. That could damage your cornea. <gasps> In San Diego, you'll be able to view the partial eclipse on April 8th, starting at 10.03 a.m. It will then peak at 11.11 and end by 12.30. Hey. And now, Bexley's. Are you all done? All done. <laughs> As you can see with some patience, the view box is an easy and fun family activity. Now, if you do want to buy solar eclipse glasses, you do want to make sure that they are certified. And that's where you can find on the glasses that'll say that they are ISO seal. And when you put them on, you should not be able to see anything, perhaps just a little bit of the bright light. And that's how you can tell, Marcella, that these are not fakes, because we know that those are kind of going for a lot of money right now, and there's counterfeit ones out there. So if you do buy them, just try to make sure that whatever you do when you look at them that it's really hard to see anything and if you do see any light it's going to be very faint and you know those will be the best to protect you or your best bet is just grab a cereal box a few little items around the house and make your view box that's interesting yes be, be very careful do not look at the sun directly so make sure you have the legit glasses but also we want to turn our backs to the sun. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, because you always think, I want to look straight right. at the sun. But with your view box, it's really, it's that's why you have that pinhole. The shadow. Yeah, so it's the, sh the sun that's going through the pinhole, and that's what you're able to view on oh, the I inside see. of the box. Very clever. I know. I like it. Right? Bexley was a great help, too. Yes, thank you. so fun. Thanks, Abby. Come